Hello friends, I'm Ways and this is our six, uh, 71st uh, video in PyQt5 GUI development and our topic is on Qt Quick and QML. So in the previous video we have learned about creating grid layout in uh, uh, PyQt5 Qt Quick. So this was from the previous video. And uh, in this video we are going to uh, talk about model view programming in Qt Quick. So if you open Qt documentation, uh, model uh, models and views in Qt Quick, and uh, you can see uh, it's uh, written that simply put application uh, need to form data and display data. Qt Quick has one uh, has the notion of model views and delegates to display data. They uh, and these are more informations about this that you can use. Uh, so this is the image, the diagram for model view. Uh, in a model view, we have our data, and we uh, wrap our data in a model. After that, we have a view, and we have a delegate. So by using delegate, we can populate the data in our model. So the model contains the data and its structure, uh, and there are several QML types for creating models. We have view, so the view is a container that displays the data. The view might display the data in a list or a grid. And we have delegates, so delegates decades how the data should appear in the view. The, delegates ta the delegate takes each data in the model and encapsulates it. So uh, now let me show you a simple example and uh, uh, I'm going to uh, so let me first let me create uh, some files, the uh, QML files. The first file is uh, my view, so I call it modelpro.qml. Uh, the second one is my data, so I call it my model. My model. Uh, sorry, it should be .qml. I made a mistake and let me uh, refactor this. Where is the refactor? Oh, it's scanning. Mm, scanning, scanning. Okay, now let me create the file again. And uh, so, new file my model dot qml okay uh, first let me create my data so qt quick 2.3 and uh, so in here if you see we have our data first we need to create the data uh, i'm going to create uh, my data list element so let me give it a name and let me create cats and see for the color uh, let me give it black and you can give for example you want to set uh, for example i want to set price five okay let me copy this or uh, change this to for example dogs and red 10 and tiger green and 15 so now we have our data and if you see we need to wrap up our data in a model uh, in this uh, model so for this we are going to use list model and if you see in here uh, it's telling that there are several QML types for creating models uh, but we are using a list model in here. So list model and wrap your data in a list model. Okay, now we have created our model. Uh, it's time to uh, see our view and delegates. Uh, I'm going to open my model pro.qml and in here we need to uh, let me just copy this and paste it in here. Also, we need to uh, 
at our window import qt quick dot window 2.2 so window uh, we have for visibility to true and for the width we are going to give screen dot width divided by 2 and for the height screen dot height divided by 2 so now uh, this is our window and now we need to create uh, our uh, model in here and also we need to create our view uh, so for the view we are using list view let me create a list view in here and you need to give a width to screen so let me just copy this like this okay so now we need to point to the model we that we have in here you need to create your model and uh, so yeah in this section my model and we need to give the ID to mod and we need to point our model in our list view so model and give you give the mod in here and the last step is the delegates for populating our data so we need a delegate of the text and the text uh, so if you see your uh, my model we want to populate the name and I want to give text and name okay so now let me just run this and uh, uh, in here so let me change this to uh, model pro.qml and now I'm going to run this okay now you can see that we have populated our cats dogs and tigers and you can see that this is the model view uh, power and you can do more with model uh, view uh, like this okay now let me separate uh, my delegate so I'm going to create a new uh, file in here and I call it my del dot gml like this and here uh, we are going to uh, add our these files in here uh, like this we create an item in here and in this section uh, we need to give the width so let me just copy this width and paste it in here and I want to create a text element and for the text I want to give the name so now in our uh, here uh, in, in this section we are going to remove this text and we are going to write my del like this so now let me just run it again and uh, this will be uh, the result uh, yeah you can see that we have now and we can scroll this so if you want this should be together uh, you need to in here divide this by 10 and if you run it again so okay, now you can see that this is our uh, data in here so also you can do more uh, let me open my del uh, my delegate file and I want to wrap my this text in a rectangle uh, like this and okay so for the rectangle I'm going to give an ID of rect and I want to give the color of C so if you remember in our model uh, in our my model we have C uh, for the color we have C and uh, now the width so for the width and height I'm going to copy this and paste it in here like this and for the text we need to give some anchors dot center n and I want to make it to the rect 
and font dot pixel size uh, I want to give you 20 so now let me just run it again yeah now you can see that this is our data with the colors that we have specified so we don't see any data in here because the color is black and these are the three data that we have defined in our model so black the first one uh, is for the dog for the cat we have black and for the dog we have read and we have dynamically uh, received these data and for the tiger green so like this you can do I will add a source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and also check my blog for the source codes and many more tutorials